Hello, Yakri here with another Dominions 5 video. So uh, I'm still working on getting a video done for construction and uh, don't wanna invest the time or don't really have the time to invest in a video on a new nation expansion and design. So I thought I'd just talk about modding really quickly. This would probably just be a nice simple video because modding Dominions 5 is um, pretty easy. It's also something that I've had requested by at least one person anyway. Uh, for me to do right uh to show you how it's done in case you want to mod dominions 5 yourself um and uh yeah it's pretty fun so i i recommend giving it a go um so on the left here i've got a mod that i've created and most of the stuff in it is disabled this was originally a much more comprehensive rework of nation yomi uh from dominions 4 but uh, since the nation's changed so drastically i disabled most of the stuff and just reposted it on steam uh, with just a couple small changes left in now all this stuff in green is commented out uh, of course uh in it means four or five modding uh, only things with a pound sign in front of them are going to be commands right uh and so also this this stuff that's just not colored here uh is uh, a comment as well right but i've separated between separated it myself so the things that are green like this with the double dash are things that i've commented out as in their actual mod commands like stir 11 will uh if i put a pound sign here instead would give the co-oni 11 strength right um but I've commented it out because I like to like leave behind the stuff I've recently worked on in case I want to re-add the changes or add a like slightly different similar change and yeah it's just my own kind of style you could just delete stuff instead um but it, it helps me revise things more quickly anyhow so that gives you the, an idea of like what this uh all the different colors mean the the red things are uh command a certain type of command right like select monster select nation and, and end right so these are like begin some sort of block of information and end the block of information the purple here is because this is a command to actually alter the stats for something i think let's see what this looks like this is uh yeah it's gonna go purple for any other similar commands for like changing the uh, strength or attack or any other stats on units um i can't remember what other stuff is in here this is just from a player created um language for uh markup language for uh, what do you call it notepad plus plus and incidentally i highly, highly recommend downloading notepad plus plus and turning on line numbers if you want to mod dominions uh five or really do any kind of like script editing like this it's also really useful for even just editing like configuration files for games and stuff very helpful much makes the things much more readable uh you're certainly not gonna have a very good time trying to do this in regular notepad or something like that uh so i highly recommend that anyway so Starting from the top here, and I've just talked about the, the sort of uh, style that I've got going on with this. Uh, you've got the mod name, right? Which is what it's gonna show up as in game. I think it'll still work if you don't include this, but uh, it'll say unknown or something. But you you should you should include it. Uh, version number, version one, all right. It's kind of self-explanatory, the description. And so this is what, if you click into the mod and the like, uh, mod menu in game it'll give you this description uh the dominions version the mod is intended for which should be whatever you've most recently tested it on and end right so that ends the block of information and then here we've got select nation so we're selecting the nation 27 right then in the mod manual there's going to be a list of all the nations by number uh and yomi is nation 27 so we're editing yomi and we're adding this uh stat to yomi right which is spread chaos one so the nation will spread uh chaos scales with uh, up to one right in uh, adjacent provinces to their borders which is handy for the nation because they have chaos power right um and you can do similar things for selecting monsters. Uh, I don't think I have any in here, but you can select armor and edit armor. You can edit weapons. This can include like natural armor that weapon units have on them when you recruit them, as well as magical items that you can craft. Uh, you can edit spells in a similar way with select spell. Um, uh, and you can edit events as well. Uh, and I think you can, I think you can, I've never edited a mercenary company, but I assume you must be able to as well. You can edit sites. Uh, you can, you can pretty much edit any sort of thing that's in the game, right? Um, now the the way if you wanna if you wanna edit something right and it's, you don't know well, like what the monster is let's say you wanna edit uh, oh well I've got I've got Jotun up here so let's say you wanna mess with middle age Jotun right and you don't know the unit ID of Jotun Scrotty right and you don't and you wanna change something about them well there's two places you can go for information and that's to the modding manual or to the Dom Five Inspector now I usually go to the Dom Five Inspector first and find something where I know uh, the uh, 
required information will be available and if I can't find it in the DOM5 inspector in a few seconds I'll go to the modding manual and hit control F and search through the modding manual for something appropriate right so for example I want to change the Jotun scrotting I just want to change some of the stats he already has so I would go into the DOM inspector and there's all these little you can see where my mouse is here there's all these little uh, option extra options you can check and I would check all of them so you can see all this extra information about the unit and uh, you can see here the unit ID of the Jotun Scrotty is 553. Okay, cool. So let's say I wanted to make his strength a different amount. Well, you see STR here, right? That's the mod command. So that means if I hit pound, right? Like, like I've got spread chaos set up over here and type in STR space some value, that'll be his new strength value. He currently has 21. So if I enter 22 and then loaded this mod up into the game, right? So if I went and like added a little extra thing here, I do select, select mod, Monster uh, 553, and we've got stir 22, and all right. So if I did this and I loaded this mod into the game, uh, the Jotun Scrotty for Middle Age Jotun, actually, for because we can see here it's used by multiple nations for all three ages of Jotun, uh, would uh, gain strength. He would go up to 22 strength, right? Uh, so that's how that works. And you can add new stats to him. I could, I could do something else, like I could give him. Uh, I don't think he naturally has regeneration, so I think uh, re regeneration. Yeah, regeneration. So it, it highlights purple because this uh, little language that I've loaded up. Maybe I'll find that. I know it's uploaded somewhere, but I don't know if you can find it easily online anymore. So maybe I'll put a link to that in the, in the video as well later. Um, yeah, so regeneration is another command, and this will just give you, you might need to do a percent, so that would be regen 10. Uh, probably it'd be better off looking this up in the mod manual instead of doing it from memory like I'm doing, but this is this is just an example. So um, yeah, just don't, don't just do this without checking out how it works first, because this might not work. Uh, but it is a real command, and you can give him regen 10, right? And I want to make it more powerful, give him regen 10, that'd be really OP, don't do that. <laughs> but uh, you get the idea, right? Um, so that's that's how easy it is to edit a unit in Dominions 5. Um, and you can edit nation spells, all the other things just as easily. And uh, you just look up how to do it exactly for each different thing in the mod manual. Pretty much you're just gonna read the mod manual. If you don't know how to do something, read the mod manual. Um, and you can usually uh, control F and search for like something appropriate. All right, so I've got the mod manual up here. Incidentally, if you wanted to add something new to the game, there's a different command for each type of thing, but it's going to be something like new weapon, new armor, new monster, something like that, right? For adding new stuff to the game. Let's say I want to I want to mod spells, right? And I'm like, I don't know how to do custom spells. Or let's say I want to add magic pathing. Actually, this is a little more complicated topic. I want to add magic pathing to the game. So I'll just search something like magic path. All right, so there's a lot of references to magic path in the mod manual but I can do control F magic path and let's just keep going um monster modding magic oh here we go <coughs> so if I wanted to make some cool random paths I would do something like the custom mat uh, magic path mask chance right so you know for most um for most uh, mages this would be like four different magic paths and a 100% chance that's also that's a 100% path right and what you would do is you just get get out a calculator or maybe you're really good at doing addition in your head and you add up like 128 for fire plus 512 for water um, is, I'm not very good at doing addition in my head incidentally, so that's 30, 40, 640, right? So 640 would be a 50, 50, sh uh, 640, uh, something like this, right? So select, uh, select monster. We're not gonna pick an actual monster, but pretend I did. And so it's gonna be custom magic. 640 100 and so then this is this is a fire water pathing 100% chance that you get one of those right for our custom monster here for whatever monster this is you know I could put it on the Odin Scrotty right and this would just would just add it to the monster right it doesn't modify so if you wanted to um have a mage with an existing 100% path, have a slightly different existing 100% path without adding more magic to them, you'd have to clear all their magic and re-enter all their stats that they already had, which is somewhat annoying, but you know, such is life. Uh, so let's say I wanted to, uh, oh, what was that? Oh, and in 200%, right? This just means that you're going to get, if you do this, like 200%, this will give you uh, a chance of two in some magic path, right? Fire or water in this case. And if I wanted, if I wanted a chance, I wanted two separate chances, right? So like this, now I have a chance of fire or water and a chance of fire or water 200%. So I could be water four or fire four or water two, fire two, right? Those are the possibilities for this unit.
Okay. So, you know, I don't need to, I don't want to go into too many more specifics with things like that, but I thought I'd bring this up because this is, this is one of the more irritating things to like learn, right? And, uh, but you can figure this stuff out yourself really without too much trouble. Uh, and as you, once you get more used to it, like it's going to have be a little bit rough starting out, especially if you have no idea about anything like coding or scripting or whatnot. Uh, but it, it becomes very easy, very quickly. Trust me. Um, even if you are not like a programmatically inclined person or don't think of yourself that way, you'll pick it up quite easily. It's really just like weird writing, honestly. Um, and uh, you can you can see the results in game very easily. I believe the Dom Five Inspector is still bugged and that you can't load mods, but that that may have been fixed already. He'll probably fix it at some point, and then you can just load them into the Mod Inspector. And a neat thing is, is once this is working, um, you know, it may already be working for all I know. I haven't actually tested it, so I could be wrong. Um, but once this is working, if it isn't already, uh, you can load this in and check out a unit that you've selected. And if uh, the mod loader will detect errors and you'll get an error on the unit if uh, if your command didn't work correctly. So that can be very handy and you can see what the unit looks like. And especially if you're changing a whole nation, it can be good to see the, the, the changes on them. Um, now there's some more complicated specific topics I could get into. If anyone wants me to, let me know in the comments and I could do a more specific video on modding. Like maybe you want a video on making new spells or something specifically. But I think this this pretty much covers it. It's not it's not that hard like to, to reiterate or to recap uh, the steps you want to do if you want to make your own Dominions mod. Is first, I think you should probably download someone else's mod and delete most of the stuff in it so you can like have this format. I'm waving at the screen, you can't see that. You have this format here, right, available to you where you've got like, all right, so this is what it should look like. It's all set up. Or you could just copy it, pause this video and copy it from my screen, right? Uh, and enter in your own information in here and just have that have that set up ready to go, right? And uh, I recommend you comment your stuff like this a little bit. But anyway, you download, download uh, Notepad++ and you uh, just start writing out commands like this, right? Using this format and you edit whatever it is you, you wanna edit. And if you don't know how to do something, look it up in the modding manual. And if you need to find an example, look it up in the DOM5 inspector. Uh, one other quick note is that you can't have any spaces or anything. Like I've got this separated by uh, uh, dashes. I think underscores are okay as well. And you need to uh, save, when you, when you wanna save the mod, you do save as and you save it as .dm, right? Um, and you just, just set it to all file types if you don't know how to do that and then it'll let you save it as whatever the hell you want. You can just make up an extension, but um, Dominions needs, needs it to be .dm so it recognizes that it's a mod file, right? Uh, so, let's see, is there anything else I'm forgetting? Download Notepad++, you just make a file, name it something cool, .dm so it, rec it recognizes the mod file, you put in the basic information about the name and description and shit, and then you just start editing stuff, okay? Um, yeah, I think that that pretty much covers it. Um, I'll have to see. I might make a. I might update this language file in the in the future, or find see if there is an updated version. Um, yeah. Okay. If any any of this stuff I've mentioned isn't in the video uh, description when the video posts, I'll edit it in later. But it should all be there. It just depends if I have a hard time finding something. So I gotta go in a bit. I'm gonna start uploading the video now. Okay. So hope you all enjoyed. Anyway, ask me more specific questions if there's something else you were interested in. Uh, thank you all for watching.